All right, so we, in QuickBooks, when we print out checks, we do have the ability to add, you know, print from a uh, blank page, okay? So it's not, it, you still have to have, when I'm saying blank page, you still have the routing number and the, your checking account number along the bottom, and probably somewhere on there they'd have the check name, uh, but let's say you want QuickBooks to put on your check your company name, your logo, rather than when you order your checks having your logo and company name put on ahead of time. I don't see that happen as frequently, especially a lot of people order checks from us. We put the logo on for you. You don't have to worry about this, but I like to show people just in case. Now, this is not saying we're printing, again, from blank check stock, meaning no routing number, no checking number on the piece of paper when you feed it into the printer. QuickBooks does not print on blank check stock. If you need to print on that, you know, give us a call. We can talk about some options like Print Boss, etc. Okay. So, how do we add the logo and address? So, first of all, the company address is going to be pulling from our company information. So, under my company, right? Contact name, address, phone number, etc. Okay. And we can go in, and the way that we add it is, you go in and you print your first checks. Now usually we say, you know, try this out first, do it on a, you know, default or check that you're going to reprint in the future. So when we come in here to print our checks, it pops up the print check screen and you can say print company name and address and also use logo. Okay. When you say use logo, it'll pop up if you haven't added your logo in, right? Or you can click logo right there and you can select your logo right from file added in there okay so that's how you add your company address name and your logo to checks that don't already have them when you get the checks printed when you order your checks